Hello again. We're going to finish up this chapter by talking about problem solving with quadratics. This is going to be lesson 2.5. So let's get started. There are steps to solving any problem with quadratics. The first thing you want to do is identify the unknown as x. And you want to, again, include units because um, if they change units in the middle of the question, you want to be able to convert so that everything is in the same units. Then you want to create an equation in terms of x, and if we're solving a problem this way, it will likely be a quadratic. Then you will solve the equation using any of the methods that we talked about um, in the last lesson. You will decide which solutions are acceptable, and then you will give your answer as a sentence, okay, using the um, verbiage that was in the original problem. So here we go. Um, as an example, we have a rectangle that has a length that is five units longer than its width, and the area is 234. And we didn't have units in this problem, which is kind of unfortunate, um, but we want to know what the dimensions are of that rectangle. So, I draw my rectangle and it looks like this. I have a width of x, and I have a length that is five units longer than that, so I wrote it as x plus five. So I know that the width x times the length x plus 5 has to equal 234. All right, so let's go ahead and solve that. Uh, x times x plus 5 equals 234. Now notice um, we can't use the um, null factor rule on this. We can't say that x equals 234 or x plus 5 equals 234. That only works if you have a 0 on the right-hand side. So don't try to do that here. Um, our best bet is to expand out the left-hand side, use the distributive property, and say that x squared plus 5x equals 234. And then from there, I can move the 234 over to the left, and that gives me x squared plus 5x minus 234 equals 0. And that can be factored into x plus 18 times x minus 13. So now I'm in uh, good shape to use the, the null um, factor rule and say that since those two things multiply to give 0, then one of them has to be 0. So if x plus 18 is 0, then x is negative 18. And if x minus 13 is 0, then x is 13. Okay. Now since I can't have a negative width, then negative 18 is out. So the only solution that I can deal with is 13. x is equal to 13. So I know my width is 13 and my length is 5 units longer than that so my length is 18 and so that's the solution to the problem. Just one sample problem uh, to kind of let you see how we solve these problems. If you have questions let me know and I will see you tomorrow.